the Assembly Hall in Champaign-Urbana. Now there are four, four teams dreaming the dream of the 1980 Boys Class A State High School Basketball Championships. Hello again, everyone. I'm Frank Bassoni, working along with Jim Turpin and Dick Campbell, and we welcome you to this showdown called the semifinals. 481 teams started along this tournament trail, and Jim Turpin, there are four left, two interesting matchups today. I should say there are, Frank. We're looking for two excellent semifinal games here this afternoon. But let's take a look now at what happened yesterday and how these four ball clubs got here. First of all, in the first game, it was Oakville 55 and Mount Pulaski 53. The second game yesterday afternoon, Luther South 61, Pittsfield 38. So that moves Oakville and Luther South into the first semifinal game. And then last night, it was Peoria Bergen, 66, and Gibson City, 55. And in yesterday's final game, Madison, 47, Timothy Christian, 44. That sets up the second semifinal game between Peoria Bergen and Madison. And now let's talk to Dick Campbell, the coach at York High School in Elmhurst, about the first semifinal game here this afternoon, matching Oakville and Luther South. Dick? Jim, I think this game could be very well a chess game between the two coaches. They'll be very much uh, present on the sideline making adjustments. They're both involved in a, in a disciplined game. Uh, starting with Oakville, they're, they're going to give away a lot of size. They've got an outstanding All-State center in Gary Moeller that had a fine, a fine, an excellent ball game yesterday. He was 9 for 13 and 7 for 9 from the line, had 25 points. He's the hub of their attack. Their forwards are going to give away about six inches to that awesome back uh, uh, front line of Luther South. But it's a team game, and Oakville may use uh, the team approach with a team discipline offensively, defensively, to be able to compete. Luther South uh, just amazed everybody in the A level here with the size of their people. They've got a back line of 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, seven, six, seven. and they can all play. They get up the board, they take that ball inside, they can score. Uh, they're a powerful unit, and they can play a slow down uh, deliberate style if that's what they choose to do. It's going to be a great one. I should think so. We've got two great ones coming up for you this afternoon. But now this reminder that one of your network sponsors is Country Companies Insurance. Jim Taylor has never thought about insurance, but his parents have. So there'd always be the financial security to let Jim climb to the top to be the best he can be. There are lots of families like Jim's in Illinois, and country companies have been providing them with all kinds of insurance for over 50 years. Country companies, proud to be serving the people of Illinois, proud to be a sponsor of IHSA Sports Telecasts. If you can operate a push-button phone, you can operate Commercial Bank's automatic teller machine. Just insert your teller card, enter your personal identification number, and follow the step-by-step -step instructions on the screen. If you make a mistake, press the No key and try it again. You'll even get a receipt when you're done. Now you can bank with automatic at four convenient locations. Automatic banking. Commercial National Bank of Peoria. This is the coach of Luther South, Cliff Dow. The smile on his face, his team played extremely well yesterday. Was that the best coach you played all year? Well, I don't know if it was the best, but we, we did get a pretty good run at it there. Uh, we played some pretty good ball games in uh, regional and sectional tournaments. You certainly have. You saw Oakville play yesterday, of course. They played very hard. How do you expect to play them today? Well, we'll probably do pretty much the same thing, a little 2-3 zone, maybe a little guard pressure. And we got to be very alert to their in interior game. They've got some good interior passes going in there on offense. Do you feel any uh, advantage or disadvantage to being the favorite as you're called in the game? I don't think we realize that yet. But it's kind of been an uphill struggle all year, and we we got two games to go, and then we'll talk about that. Earlier this year, there had to be a time when you thought this team of yours could get here to the Assembly Hall. When was that? I would say the second win at Providence when we played in their gym in the middle of February 1st and beat them down there. That, that had to be one of the most intense games I ever saw my kids play this year. They talk were, they talk were, about that rivalry for the three games between the defending state champion Providence and uh, your Luther South team. Well, I don't know, but as soon as this year's over, they're my pick for the private school league championship next year because they're going to be something else with Walter Downing. It, it took about two of my kids 
to uh, stop him, and then it left me three kids to cover their other four, and we were able to do that, but he's a powerhouse. Could you give us a comment uh, also, Coach, about the second game uh, today between uh, Madison and Peoria Bergen? What was your impression of those teams? Well, it's kind of hard to tell whether Madison is playing more of a deliberate game this year or if Timothy caused that. If they both get in a running game, I'm going to get tired watching, and I just I don't know what happens there. If that gets into a uh, transition game, I think Bergen's going to have to beat Madison. They're going to have to slow it down and become deliberate, use their height. Thank you very much. Good luck today. Thank you. Coach Cliff Dahl of Luther South. And now we'll walk into Coach uh, Dave Luchtefeld of Oakville. And it's a big job today. Uh, what are you going to do against the height of Luther South? Well, uh, obviously, they're probably the most talented ball club here. And uh, uh, we think we can do some things to frustrate them. And uh, if we uh, we think we can, if we can, I think it's going to be a heck of a ball game. Uh, if we can't, then a pretty dominant team. So. Uh, uh, I can guarantee you that we won't uh, won't quit yet. I'm sure you won't. Uh, Coach, uh, can you tell us briefly what uh, our viewers should look for on offense and defense from your squad? Well, we hope we can put a little bit of pressure on their forward forward leads and push them a little farther away from the basket than, the, than they like to play. And we hope that we can maybe go inside a little bit on offense a little more than uh, Pittsfield did yesterday. Fantastic. Good luck to you today. Thank you very much. Coach Dave Luckefeld of Oakville. And now let's go back to Jim Turpin. Thank you very much, Frank Bassoni. It's Oakville Rockets 28 and 5 against Luther South 25 and 5. We're about set now for the entrance of the color guard into the magnificent assembly hall, the playing of the national anthem to be followed by the starting lineups. Here's Tom Trent, the PA announcer. The presentation of the Kellers by the Fairbury Cropsey High School Color Guard. We ask you to stand and join soloist William Olson of the University of Illinois in the singing of our national anthem. The voice of Bill Olson, the director of the men's glee club here at the University of Illinois, is accompanied by the Fairbury Cropsey Pep Band, one of two bands playing here. We'll hear more about them a little later on. In just a moment now, we'll have the introduction of the starting lineups, and this first semifinal ball game will be underway. Oakville against Luther South. Here's Tom Trent once again. And now let's meet the people involved in today's first semifinal game. First of all, for Luther South High School of Chicago. The Braves enter this semifinal game with a record of 25 wins and five losses. Their head coach in his fifth year at the school is Cliff Dahl with a record of 92 wins, 45 losses. The team members for the Braves, number 11, Dennis Lindsay. Number 13, Paul Marquardt. Number 21, Ray Nutter. 
Number 23, Freeman Jackson. Number 31, Chris Bowden. Number 41, Derwin Richardson. Number 43, Jason Jackson. And now let's meet the starting lineup for Luther South. Starting at one forward, at six feet seven inches tall, number 55, Pierre Cooper. Cooper averaging 9.8, he got 14 yesterday, Pierre Cooper. The other forward, also 6'7", number 35, Bob Gray. Gray is averaging 7.3, just about on his average yesterday with eight. Starting at center, six feet six, number 53, Tony Martin. Very strong postman, averaging 15.2 on the year. At one guard position for the Braves, at 6'3", number 33, Dave Allen. Dave Allen, good ball handler, averaging five points a game, got four yesterday. And the other guard at 5'11", number 15, Mike Conley. And the leading assist man, 8.7 points per game. He had three assists yesterday. Good player, Mike Conley. Now let's South meet the Ray. Rockets of Oakville High School with a record of 28 wins and five losses. Their head coach in his 18th year at Oakville, Dave Lichtefeld. His record, 333 wins, 140 losses. The team members for the Rockets, number 13, Greg Renegarby. Number 15, Doug Altoff. Number 21, Dennis Lipker. Number 23, Eric Brahmeyer. Number 25, Mark Jansen. Number 31, Kevin Sabo. Number 43, Mike Stein. And now the starting lineup for Oakville. At one forward, a senior, six feet tall, number 41, Darren Mesh. Mesh averaging nine points a game, had seven yesterday, good inside player. The other forward, a junior, six feet tall, number 33, Kevin Obermeyer. Obermeyer at 10.1 on the year. He got just about on his average yesterday, 11. Starting at center for the Rockets, a senior, six feet four, number 45, Gary Moeller. Moeller leads the tournament in scoring with 47 points in two games, 23.5 average. At a guard position for the Rockets, a senior, 5'11", number 35, Mike Blumhorst. Mike Blumhorst, 8.8 .8 points per game, didn't score yesterday. And the other guard for Oakville, a senior, 5 feet 8, number 11, Alan Lake. Good playmaker, averaging 3.8 on the year, Alan Lake. The officials for this semifinal game. Oakville Rockets with a record of 28 and 5. The officials are Robert Conti of DeCoin and Roy Newman. Your officials for this afternoon's first semifinal ball game. We'll have the tip-off for you in just a moment, but right now a reminder that one of your network sponsors is DeKalb Ag Research. Farmers have been boosting corn yields with DeKalb hybrids since the days of horse-drawn planters. Today's innovative farmers continue to depend on research companies like DeKalb. That's why their high-yield corn programs start with DeKalb XL32A. Long grain-packed ears dry down fast and kick out big yields at lower populations. Just a few of the good reasons innovative farmers depend on DeKalb XL32A. Fix up your home inside and out with values from True Value Hardware Store's Hardware Week Circular. Like this Black & Decker drill guide for just $9.88. This distant hand saw for just $9.99. And this Red Devil pad painting kit for just $5.55. Protect against fires with a Kidda home fire extinguisher for just $10.99. And for cleanups or storage, get a box of True Value trash bags. They're just $4.99. At participating True Value Hardware Stores 
and home centers. Final game, Oakville against Luther South. Tony Martin at 6-6 for Luther South. Moving into jump against Gary Muller at 6-4 for Oakville. Luther South in the red. Oakville in the white. Tip controlled by Luther South. It goes in the backcourt to Mike Conley, their fine ball handler, and he brings it up against the Oakville zone. Boston knocked away, but he gets it back. To Bob Gray, back now to Conley. Side to Gray, looking underneath to Conley. Jump shot on the way by Gray is up and in, and Luther South has taken the lead 2 0. Gray had a little trouble getting the ball down yesterday, but if he misses, there's still some pretty good things happen on that rebound board. Bloomhurst for Oakville in the corner to Mesh, back to Bloomhurst. Another guy out front is Alan Lake. They're looking for Moeller, he's their top inside man, and one of the keys to this game will be whether he can do it underneath or not. Driving under and scoring, though, is Kevin Obermeyer to tie this one to two. Well, they took it right to the big guys, Dick. He sure did, and he uh, kind of hung in there and went around the hand and got it down. Good start for the inside game. Here is Mike Conley on the side of the lake. To Cooper, his shot is up and no good. The rebound is up by Cooper, no good. Next rebound, pulled down and pushed up by Martin, around and around and around and in. Well, there it is. That's a pretty good explanation of the uh, the awesome board strength of South. Boy, they went after it. South on top now, four to two. We just started the first semifinal game. Allen Lake out front to Bloomers. Back to Lake. Looking underneath. Almost lost that ball out of bounds, but retrieved it. Luther in a version of, uh, of a two-three matchup zone. Ball knocked away from Bloomers and stolen. Bringing it down and going all the way, laying it up and in is Dave Allen. And it's a 6-2 ball game. Luther South leads Oakville. we played two minutes of the first quarter. Blumhorst across the line. Nothing open underneath, so he clears to Mace. They work it around the perimeter. Now they get it to Obermeyer, who's on the high post at the moment. This is where I think they have to get deliberate, not let them get too far away. They need a bucket here. Pass underneath, going for the layup, around and in, and once again it's Obermeyer. Little concentration on uh, Muller, and they got the ball to Obermeyer. Very nice pass right down the gut. 6-4, Luther South on top, 5-36 for the first period. They're giving ground at the point out here, but they're pressuring the forwards out of that stack, against that stack offense. Here is Gray. Quite a mismatch inside, but those people from Oakville are pretty good physical specimens. They'll hold their own physically. They're not up over top. Oh, yes. There is Tony Martin. Tony Martin on the big stuff. 8-4. Luther South by four. Luther so South had five of those in the ball game yesterday. Five stuffs. Once again, they get the ball to Obermeyer. He goes to the layup and misses it, and Gray has the rebound for Luther South and clears to Dave Allen. Allen off to Mike Conley. He walks it down. 8 for Luther South with the ball and the lead. 4.53 to go in the first. On the side, Allen. Now Conley, side to Gray. Conley down the lane. His shot is up and very short. Rebound foot for picked up and pushed up Gray. No good. Rebound up and in by Pierre Cooper. Nice hands by Cooper. He fumbled it there a little bit, got control, and put it back up. Strong offensive bound. 10 to 4 now. Luther South on top. There's that little pressure that Luther uh, was going to use to try to break up, break them up the half court. Back in the matchup zone. Darren Mesh in the corner. First time Muller has had the ball. His shot is up and off. No good. Rebound. Gray gets it off in a hurry to Allen. Allen stops at the free throw line. Now brings it out when nothing develops. 10-4. No! Luther's off on top. Wide open Gray. Shot no good. Rebound. Up and good, but he's going to be called. Uh, the foul is going to be called. Let's see if the basket counts. It does. Pierre, Pierre Cooper, only a junior. Bell wants a timeout. Luther South on top now by a score of 12 to 4. One of your network sponsors is Country Companies Insurance. You got the bucket? Ugh. Get the insurance man. Wayne Carey? No, 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 he's life. Uh, John Dolby? Auto. When you have all your insurance with Country Companies, you get one agent to call, one agent, to help make sure you have the right coverage and to speed your claims. Wally Stupsker. 
Wally Stupsker. Country Companies, insurance for home, auto, life, health, farm, and business. Yeah, hello, Wally, Wally Stupsker, the, the insurance man. The window washer. The Savings Game, a game you should be playing with United Savings of Central Illinois. United Savings can show you all the savings moves and help you choose the move that best suits you, your family, and your future. The Savings Game. You should be playing it with us, United Savings of Central Illinois. We want you to win at the Savings Game. It's a happy feeling when you save with us. Take a look now at the foul that we had just prior to that timeout. Overmeyer, number 33, comes in from behind. And look at Pierre go up through there. Just a junior. Strong, strong move. Coach uh, Lechtenfeld's worst fears have been realized here in the early going. The power game inside of Luther has got him off to a fast 12-4 start. Jim. Tony Martin already has scored six points. Contrasting to uh, north against the south here, Chicago uh, Luther, private league school, Oakville from the independent from the deep south, smallest school in the final eight. Free throw is missed and the rebound is grabbed out of there by Blumhorst and he brings it down for Oakville. Underneath, that's Obermeyer. He's in heavy traffic. He gets it up there, though, but missed it. And the rebound is pulled down by Gray. Gray has about four defensive rebounds already. There's Gray out on top now. If they don't get something off that quick break, they could like to set up so they can board inside to the big people. Good logic. Like that, Martin's shot is missed, and Gary Moeller has the rebound. It's a 12 4 ball game. Luther South on top. Lake with it out front. That is Mesh. Cross course at the Bloomhorse. Now Lake to Mesh. Working around outside. They get the ball to Obermeyer. He gives the ball to Moeller. His shot is up and off the board and in. Well done. Very, very passive inside there defensively. Once it was penetrated, they just backed off, let him put it up. Now 12 6, Luther South by 6. With 2.52 to go. First period. The first of two semifinal games this afternoon. Bob underneath going for the layup. The ball is lost and grabbed out of there by Alan Lake. Deep pass now off to Bloomers. He goes for the layup and he's blocked from behind and foul from behind. Committing that foul is Dave Allen. A little break over the top. They're beating those defensive guards back. Here comes Dave Allen in from the rear. He got all of it. He got all of uh, all of. Uh, 35 Mike Lomars too. Lomars a good free throw shooter. He shot 78% from the foul line on the year. He's averaging 8.8. He'll have two here. His team trails by six. Now five. 12 to seven. Luther South on top by five. 237 to go first quarter. That's the first point in the ball game for Bloomhorst. that when Pierre Cooper has the rebound and he gets it off to Conley for Luther South. Well, the possibility of an all Chicago private league championship went to the boards last night when Madison beat Timothy Christian. Underneath Cooper, his shot is up and good from right at the foul line. It's 14 to 7. Four points in the ball game for Cooper. Grace used uh, effectively with his high size to get that ball up overhand and dish it inside to those other two. Bloomhorse top of the key going to pump from there, and he missed it. High for the rebound, grabbing it out of there again is Cooper. Off it comes to Dave Allen. Along the baseline, he takes a look. Back to Conley now. 152 to go for the period. 14 to 7 game. Luther South leads it. Lob underneath to Martin. Short jumper Martin, no good. Rebound Allen. He has it. He lays it up, and he missed it. And then Gary Moeller grabbed that rebound, and he is fouled. That foul is on Bob Gray. Comment was made yesterday. Here we are, lunching it up, uh, threw it over on the other side, and here comes uh, Bob Gray in from the backside, reached in, got body. Comment was made yesterday that this Oakville team will not collapse. They'll keep their poison when they're behind, and they'll fight back into it. 
Here's Alan Lake on the side. They're working around the perimeter. Right side to Mesh. He hasn't had a shot yet. There's the ball being knocked out of bounds right in front of us. And it belongs to Mokaville. Renegarby, the little sophomore, has done such a magnificent job off the bench for this ball club. He's 5'9", 130, has come into the game now for Oakville. He has the ball now. He has a reputation of making things happen. Blumhorst, long jumper, is off the board and in. 14-9 now. South by five, with 1.10 to go. Three points in the ball game for Blumhorst. They find some holes in that Luther South defense. Here is County. Renegarby on him close. Back to Conley, out front to Gray. Underneath, driving, going for the layup, and just forcing it up there and forcing it in. Using that strength as Tony Martin, he has scored eight, and it's 16 to nine. Obermeyer down the lane, short jumper is up and in. 16 to 11, real good first quarter here. 37 seconds to go. Jim, they're putting pressure on that middle, uh, the uh, on Pierre Cooper by bringing somebody high, and then once they lure him up high, they split the defense, throw it down deep. Here is Allen, 23 seconds to go, first period. Mike Conley now on the side, knocked away by Blumhorst, who goes to the floor, they scramble. And the ball is out of bounds, and it's awarded to Oakville. Right in front of us here, Dave Allen hit it last. Little collision there right in front of us. Uh, ball went off of uh, Cliff Dahl retrieves the ball and flips it out to one of the officials. Had any pushing going on there? <laughs> there was quite a collision right here at center court, and the, the call goes to Oakville, and they have the basketball. 13 seconds to go. Mesh. Renegarby. Blumhorst. Cross courts to Mesh. Underneath. Short jumper is up. Missed everything. Moeller. Three seconds now. Shot from behind the center line is high off the board. Almost went in. That's the end of the first quarter. Luther South on top, 16 to 11. One of your network sponsors is Country Companies Insurance. don't just offer an insurance discount on new homes we offer more like special low rates as your house gets older in fact your home may qualify for country companies low rates if it's 5 10 20 years even older so if you're high on your home country see company. how low we can be on your homeowners country companies insurance for home auto life health business and farm Happening now and only in Peoria. It's the incredible 1980 Home and Auto Hi-Fi Show. Take advantage of factory-authorized deals from over 40 reps. Thousands of square feet of tomorrow's audio and television for you to check out. But it all ends Sunday. The Peoria Hi-Fi Show at the Playback Store at 4234 Brandywine Drive in Peoria. Over $1 million in inventory at factory-authorized deals. But it ends Sunday at 6. Be there. Playback! Sixteen to eleven ball game as we start quarter number two. Well, some interesting things happened that uh, quarter. Dick Campbell, uh, one of which is that Oakville went right to the big guys of Luther South. They're doing just what uh, Dave Lichtenfeld said they do: challenge them inside. They're doing it at the offensive end, but they're having a little trouble keeping track of Martin and Cooper inside. And six six foot six foot guard and six 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 seven. Both teams not, uh, shooting fifty percent from the line. Oakville five for ten and Luther South eight for sixteen. Luther South has committed two Oakville. One have been just three fouls in the ball game. Two on Luther South and one on Oakville. First period stats for you. There's Mike Conley bringing it down. Off to Allen, and now he is fouled by Bloomhorst. Well, it all evens up, doesn't it? That's the same two that had the collision at center court a moment ago. <laughs> this time it goes against Oakville. First foul on Bloomhorst. Jim, uh, these seniors for Luther South were 1 and 17 as freshmen, came along 12 and 15 as sophomores, 12 14 on the JV. They're here this year at 25 and 5. Mike Conley at the free throw line, lobs it underneath and lost it out of bounds. That's Pierre Cooper. Got the ball to Cooper and his anxiety to go up for the shot. He lost it out of bounds. It belongs to Oakville. Oakville trails by five. Luther's going to stay in that zone. They'd just rather not get in foul trouble inside. That's Mesh. Even the corner, Moore. Hadn't scored a point yet. Back out front, Renegarby. Blumhorst, he's going to pump the long jumper off the board. Missed that one. Tipped way out front. Goes in the backcourt. Controlled there by Renegarby. 
of people wanted the over and back. That ball apparently was, uh, uh, it was touched, touched by a South player. They lob the ball now. Moeller along the baseline. Heavy traffic. He lays it up and he is fouled. He took it right to the big guy, went right at him and was fouled. Gary Moeller is under control when he goes in through there, Jim. He's uh, he's balanced. Here we'll see again now. He kind of makes a little neutralizing fake, brings it up, tries to hang there, and sure enough, he got into his arm. Gary Cooper has picked up his first foul. At the line to shoot two will be Moeller. Up and in. 16-12 now. Luther's house lead has been cut to four. He'll have one more. Made them both just like yesterday when he won that ball game for him, right? That's right. He hit the two big ones with two seconds to go to, to put him into this semifinal game. And now it's 16-13. Luther South with the basketball, bringing it down very slowly. That is Mike Conley, guarded by Renegarby. Beats him down the lane, lays it up and in. Oh, a nice move by Conley. Beat Renegarby out the, between the circles and went down the lane for the score. His first basket. 18-13 now, South by five. In the corner, Moore. Now Mesh. Moore again. Once again, he goes to the board. Hits it off the board and in, 18-15. Gary Moeller, an all-state all state center. He's showing it again today. 18-15, Luther South leads it. 6.26 to go. First half, down the lane. Short jump shot is up and in. That's Pierre Cooper. He has scored six. It's now 20-15. Coach Dahl yelling to his players, will you play defense? Many times I've yelled that. And what do they say? <laughs> We can't repeat that, right? <laughs> Those that don't come over and sit next to him. I understand. Here's Renegarby with a long set shot, and he got it. A little sophomore cranks one up right at the top of the circle, making it 20 to 17. First two points for Renegarby. Luther South by three with 5.52 to go in the half. Jim Renegarby shoots 60% from the field and doesn't shoot many layups. That is common. Putting pressure on that point out there again. Knocked the ball away from Gray, Renegarby did, but was picked up by Allen. His shot is up and off the board, no good. Tied for the rebound as Cooper, and there was a lot of contact there, and the jump ball is called. That was big, big 10 contact in there with no call. Pierre, we'll see that again. Here comes Pierre Cooper banging to the board. Whack 33 comes out of there, Kevin Overmeyer, but no call on that. It's a jump ball. Mike Stein into the ball game now for Oakville. The tip was controlled by Pierre Cooper, and out front it comes to Conley. I think they might be undefeated in tip balls, uh, jump balls, all that size. Jumper at the free throw line is off, retrieved in the corner by Bloomers. They can cut it to one with a basket here. Renegarby. Corner over Meyer. Now Bloomers. Now to Moeller. About a 10 foot baseline jumper. That just missed everything. Rebound grabbed out of there by Tony Martin. Actually, it wasn't a rebound grab, it was an air ball grab. He didn't hit a thing. Down the lane, Pierre Cooper gives the ball to Allen. His shot is blocked, but he's fouled. Good strong move to the basket by Dave Allen. The defense is reacting, certainly, to the moves. Here's a nice jam down. The off, uh, off guard 33, Dave Allen, goes up, and he, he draws the contact. Gary Moeller picked up the foul. That's his first at the line to shoot two will be... Dave Allen. We'll have one more. 63% foul shooter on the year. Foul on the rebound. Up over the top is Tony Martin. Martin goes high for that missed free throw by Allen and picks up the foul. That's his first. That's his first. That's four Team foul on Luther South. No free throws involved yet. Bring it down is Renegarby for Oakville. Bloomhorse now. Renegarby looking underneath instead gets the ball off to Stein. Renegarby, Bloomhorse. Cross courts to Stein now. Looking underneath. He had the ball to Muller, knocked off his hands and grabbed out of there on the turnover. Dave Allen has it and he clears it to Mike Conley for Luther South. South leads it 20 to 17. Here's Gray, open for the long oh. jumper, and he rimmed it. Rebound, Moeller to Renegarby, coming down one-on-one. -on -one. He goes for the layup off the board, and he made it. Oh, Super nice move to the hoop. The little sophomore, 135 pounds, took it right at him. 
crossover down the lane. Brought it to within one, Jimmy. He squeezed between two players there. Got it down, and it's 20 to 19 now. Luther South's lead has cut the one. They lob underneath, wide open. Cooper lays it in. A good lob pass that they've used along the baseline so effectively works again. He has now scored eight. 22-19, the lead at three for Luther South. Up until that hoop, Luther South had only scored four in the quarter. 3.43 to go. There's a pass intercepted by Luther South. Grabbing it off is Gray. And he gets the ball to Dave Allen. Maintaining that pressure out on the point, that disrupts the uh, sometimes the uh, flow, the handling of the ball, the patterns. Gray's shot is missed, but way up there for the rebound as Tony Martin just pushes it back through, and the lead now is suddenly back to five. 24 to 19, he has scored 10. Okaville worked so hard to get two down here, and it seems like Luther can get them so easily. Gives the ball down the lane, going for the shot. The shot is blocked away beautifully. Here's a fast break developing. Driving all the way, laying up no good. And then they follow stuff by Martin. Tony Martin on the stuff for Rue. He has scored 12. It's now 26 to 19. That's seven we've seen in two days. Looked like volleyball the last two times down. Easy smashes. The block, the kick out, the shot, the follow up, the stuff. Brenda Garby. The stop. Bloomhorse knocked away, stolen out of there. It goes to the corner and retrieved by Bloomhorse. I got fun now, Renegarby. 2.33 to go. They get the ball to Moeller. A lot of people around him. Renegarby. Cross courts to Stein. 26 19. Underneath Obermeyer. Layup. No good. Rebound grabbed out of there by Luther South, and a foul is going to be called on Stein. Going to the line will be Pierre Cooper for Luther South. Nope. Not to the line yet. No free throws involved yet. That's just the fourth team foul in Okaville, and a timeout has been called. One of your network sponsors is DeKalb Ag Research. of gold keeping America going. Hey, Ma, when do we leave? Acres of gold keeping the trade winds blowing. Go on. Thanks, Grandpa. Acres of gold keeps the economy growing. By you, Grandma. Oh, it's a great feeling knowing we've got acres of gold. The cow, as much a part of American farm life as Evan's supper with the family. It's a great feeling knowing we've got acres of gold. Dick Campbell, we had a 2019 ball game, and then suddenly Luther South just exploded for three quick ones. Well, it's, uh, it seemed like the play of Renegarby going down the lane and laying it up, but sort of ignited uh, and made uh, Luther South a little little mad because they they brought a, thurry, uh, a flurry right back after that play. A lot of people have speculated about how just how good Luther South would be if they were turned loose and they played the wide open game. Well, uh, I think we see a little little sign of it right there. Mike Conley brings it down. Gets it off to Allen. 2.09 to go for the half now. We invite you to stay with us at halftime in between games for some interesting interviews and other features. Here is Tony Mark getting the ball off to Bob Gray for the short jumper, and he got it. 28 to 19 now. Eight straight points they have run off. Four points for Gray. Jim will be back tonight at 8 o'clock with the championship game. Then the class double A next week, the girls' title games on March 29th. Some very interesting matchups in the double A's, a lot of upsets, and uh, we'll go over those for you. There's a nice long banker off the board again. That is uh, Blumhorst, and that makes it 28 to 21. That is five points for Mike. 
to South, leads it by seven with 126 to go. Maintaining that pressure on the point out there. Oh, nice steal here by the sophomore. Renegarby going for the layup, and it's blocked, and a goaltend is going to be called. Renegarby went for the layup. Conley trailing the play. It's called for the goaltend. This is a great leaper coming up here. Mike Conley, here he comes from behind. He's way up over that rim. Definitely a goaltend. No foul call. Now a 28-23 game. And there they are. They've snuck back within a respectable reach. We hope you're enjoying our telecast this afternoon, DeKalb AgriSearch. And the more than 750 DeKalb dealers glad to be co-sponsored. Another judge. turnover and bringing it down. Long jumper, Bloomhorst. Shot is off the board, no good. Oh, watch out for this. Gonna stay Allen on the breakaway. Knocked away by Renegarby. And saved by Stein. What a oh, defensive play. A good job. He left the ball alone. He was out of bounds. If he did touch it, it would have been the uh, red ball out. 28-23. Luther South on top by five. 37 seconds to go for the half. This little sophomore has certainly captured the imagination of everybody at this tournament. He comes off the bench at 5-9 and 130. They're going to pull it out, go for that last shot. They like to go in three down if they can, no worse than five. Well, it was a one-point game at 2019. Interesting game of science against uh, power and, and ability. Now 12 seconds. Linda Garvey with nine seconds now. Here is Stein, gets the ball off. They almost lost it. Linda Garvey has it four seconds. Jump shot is good! Oh, what a way to end the half. Luther South's lead has been cut to three. The score at halftime. At the end of the first half, the score is Luther South 28. 25. We'll recap the individual scoring for you in just a minute. Dave Bender just bought another $25,000 of life insurance. Not unusual, except six weeks ago, Dave had a heart attack. He also had a guaranteed insurability option he'd arranged through his country company's agent so he could buy more insurance at low rates regardless of physical condition. Guaranteed insurability, the option that gives you options. Country companies, insurance for life, health, home, auto, farm, and business. How about giving your home the warm, friendly look of real brick? It's easy and inexpensive with briquettes. Briquettes are real kiln-fired brick, but only one half inch thick. Briquettes are lightweight, so they require no extra support, and they're fireproof. But best of all, you can do it yourself with briquettes. Fireplaces, kitchens, accent walls, anywhere. Real kiln-fired briquettes are available at Paul Geisman Fireplace and Lighting in Peoria. Since 1936, the Peoria Easter Seal Society has been helping youngsters like these. Through therapy programs, children of all ages have had the opportunity to lead normal lives. Your gift can rebuild bodies, muscles, and futures. Hi, I'm Rody Keith, your host of the local Easter Seal Telethon. I hope you'll join me for the fun and entertainment beginning at 10.30 p.m. March 22nd, continuing until 7 p.m. March 23rd here on Channel 19. Remember, for these kids, money walks. Time of the Luther South Oakville game. Luther South leading the Rockets 28 to 25. And I think, uh, Dick Campbell, that anybody that thought that uh, Luther South was going to come out here in this first game this, this morning and walk away with it has something to think about now. Boy, it's uh, basketball at its best. It's sort of Southern Illinois uh, traditional intelligent basketball, playing the angles and uh, playing a team game. Very, very much of a team approach that they're taking. They're penetrating South's defense, putting pressure on inside. They're very adequate offensively, and they're doing a nice job when you consider the mismatches in size, uh, defending them with the pressure. And that little uh, great uh, uh, Renegarby that came in there did the same thing yesterday. Came in, ignited the ball club. He's about a 15-year-old sophomore. He's, uh, he's only uh, about 135 pounds, and he came in last night, got eight points and four assists right at the crucial time, and there he got him. He got him close. Okay, thanks, Dick. We'll continue with our halftime activities in a moment. First, this message from the IHSA. Well, what'll it be, Harry? Regular or trim? Oh, God. What? Oh, 
No, 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 no. Oh, out cheering the old alma mater again last oh, night, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're really into high school sports, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, you yeah. Rock. Ah, exciting. Yeah. You know what I can do? Yeah. You know what? Ah, economical. I yeah, I got that. Yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 I want. Something the whole family can enjoy. Hey. Hey, how about you guys? Anybody else see that game last night, huh? Oh, yeah. It was great. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> The P&W Builders Parade of Homes now on display during their open house in Frontier Estates. Introducing the Woodhaven, an elegant tri-level home featuring a garden-level paneled family room with beautiful brick fireplace, two full baths, two half baths. The Aspen, an excellent starter home with three bedrooms, spacious kitchen, and large utility room. P&W will build your dream home anywhere within 60-mile radius of Peoria. See the Parade of Homes during the P&W Builders open house in Frontier Estates. Happening now and only in Peoria. It's the incredible 1980 Home and Auto Hi-Fi Show. Take advantage of factory authorized deals from over 40 reps. Thousands of square feet of tomorrow's audio and television for you to check out. But it all ends Sunday. The Peoria Hi-Fi Show at the Playback Store at 4234 Brandywine Drive in Peoria. Over $1 million in inventory at factory authorized deals. But it ends Sunday at 6. Be there. Playback! Sony back at halftime at the Assembly Hall in Champaign-Urbana. And no, this is not an Elmhurst town meeting. Dick Campbell, of course, on the far left from Elmhurst, York, the head basketball coach in the middle here. Don Greenfield from Timothy Christian. And Don, your comments on the first half. Well, I think uh, Oakville is doing a great job of uh, getting the big baskets to keep the game tight. And, uh, of course, uh, they're keeping South from uh, getting that momentum. When South has spurted, Oakville has been able to come right back and close that gap. And, I, and they're keeping the pressure on South. And I'm sure South feels they're the favorite. And that pressure can build up on you. It surely is, uh, Dick. Don, off the top, let me say you're one of the uh, coaches in this business that I respect the most. You do such a super job with those kids, and I, I say that from uh, on behalf of our, our school up there to the north of you. Uh, your kids played so well, so intelligently, with such great poise, and uh, I, I supposed to be neutral last night, but it was awful hard to feel a little pain for you because you played it right to the hilt, and uh, you just, just got nudged a little bit. A great effort, super, super season. Well, thanks a lot, Dick. We, you know, we were disappointed but I'm proud of our kids. They really uh, contributed a tremendous amount to our program. And uh, you people at York uh, having us over at that holiday tournament sure help us too, I'll tell you that. It helps our kids. Don, uh, of course, you were eliminated by Madison last evening in just a, a tight basketball game, 47 to 44. How about your thoughts on the Madison-Peoria-Bergen matchup? Very interesting game. Well, I, I think that could be uh, great for the fans because I think they're going to see a more open uh, ball game. And I think... Uh, when uh, we, you know fans like to see variety and I, I think uh, that quickness of Madison against Peoria's power you know, it, sh it should be a great ball game. Who do you give an edge to in the game huh? Well I, I really think Peoria has to rate an edge. I think they're a little uh, bigger team and uh, I think uh, you know they'll have a little more balanced uh, offense than we did and uh, Madison's pretty young and uh, that might start telling on them. The thing uh, Don that I noticed Bergen is not only big and physical they're also quick. Uh, a rare combination when you can get those two things you've got something i agree with that dick that uh you know bergen's has, has got that great guard to give him that quickness too and uh, gillis i think don greenfield thanks for coming by and congratulations on a fine year thanks a lot frank now let's go to jim turpin a look at the scoring for the two ball clubs in the first half first of all for luther south pierre cooper had a total of eight points bob gray four tony martin 12, Dave Allen 2, and Mike Conley 2, for a total of 28. For Oakville, Darren Mesh played throughout the entire first half but did not score. Kevin Obermeyer had six points. Gary Moeller, the big center, averaging about 20 a ball game, had a total of six. Mike Bloomhurst had five. Alan Lake did not score. Dan Stein played briefly in the first half, but did not score. Then the little sophomore, Greg Renegarby, had a total of eight points. One was a sensational drive down the lane, and uh, then the other one was that long jumper with three seconds to go in the half. Let's pause now. Five seconds for station identification. 
Watch Murderer's Row tonight at 10.30 on Cinema 19. Now let's stay tuned for second half action. We'll be ready for the tip-off in just a minute. Farmers have been boosting corn yields with DeKalb hybrids since the days of horse-drawn planters. Today, Senevati farmers continue to depend on research companies like DeKalb. That's why their high-yield corn programs start with DeKalb XL 72AA. Yield is what it does best, dries down fast and piles record-breaking yields in the bin year after year. Just a few of the good reasons Senevati farmers depend on DeKalb XL 72AA. Get the insurance man. Wayne Carey? No, 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 he's life. Uh, John Dolby? Auto. When you have all your insurance with country companies, you get one agent to call, one agent, to help make sure you have the right coverage and to speed your claims. Wally Stupsker. Wally Stupsker. Country companies, insurance for home, auto, life, health, farm, and business. Uh, hello, Wally, Wally Stupsker? The, the insurance man. The window washer. Your family depends on your television set. It's a very important part of family life. Suddenly your set breaks down. What are you going to do? It'll be an unhappy family experience while you wait and wait for repair. At Universal TV, you don't ever have to be without a TV set. Rent a TV while yours is being repaired. Rent one for a week or more. Instant delivery, no credit check. All service included during rental. All rent applies to purchase. Keep your rental TV for permanent use in your bedroom and you'll never be without a TV. Make it your own without a loan at Universal TV. Call now. 25 ball game. We're about ready to start play here in the second half. The biggest lead in that first half was 12 to 4. That came with four minutes to go in the first quarter. And the close margin was at one point that we mentioned a couple times at 20 to 19. Any rebroadcast or other use of the descriptions or accounts of this telecast is prohibited without the written permission of the Illinois High School Association, which also has the approval of the announcers used on this network. Interesting interview, gentlemen, with uh, with Don. He uh, would rather be out here, he said. <laughs> well, he did all he could, uh, and his kids did too. Joe. And of course, the representative from their league is this uh, Luther South, and they were engaged with two great ball games during the year, and, and actually, uh, Timothy beat Luther at, at Timothy. You're looking at Luther South as they come out for the second half. Now Okavell is out. Three-point ball game here at halftime. Real good first half. It's 28-25. Let them play pretty well. Nobody in foul trouble. It'll be Tony Martin for Luther South against Gary Moeller of Oakville. Oakville in the white. Luther South in the red. Tip is controlled by Dave Allen. And he gets it off to Mike Conley for Luther South. Down the lane, they open it up for him, but it suddenly was cut off, and he gets it off to Gray. Now driving, Martin, short jumper is no good. Rebound to the floor. They scrambled and scrapped out of there by Bloomhurst. I'll tell you that uh, Oakville, all five of those guys are packed back in there when the ball goes up. They're not waiting to sneak down the court. They're going after it on the boards. Here is Renegar to Stein to Renegar. To Bloomhurst, lobbing underneath Obermeyer. Back out front, Renegar. He will take that shot there, or at least he has in the past. They didn't like to use up a little bit of time before they put it up too soon. Moeller's turnaround jumper is off the board, and the rebound is grabbed by Bob Gray. He is 6'7". They go 6'7", 6'7", 6'6", 6'3", and 5'11". Gray is only uh, averaging four and a half rebounds a game, but he's been way over that in these two games. They lob underneath. There is Cooper gets the ball off to Gray. Shot off the board is good. They're very unselfish, Jim. Very unselfish. They dish it off to one another, and they've got excellent discipline. I suppose that's part of that private school uh, concept. 30 to 25 now. Luther South on top. 6:43 in the third period. There is the ball stolen away by Gray. Just leaped out in front and grabbed it. Off to Allen now. Allen brings it across the line. Now Mike Conley. It's Gray underneath Allen. Baseline jumper is around and in. 
Nice soft touch. That ball hung up there and rolled in for him. 32 to 25. Jim Dave Allen uh, took Mike Blumhorst at only 5'11. Allen at 6'3 down to a low post and posted up on him and got the ball in the basket. That's a mismatch down low. That is Mulder. Almost a stolen pass, but Mulder gets it off to Obermeyer for the jumper. It is short. The rebound is brought out of there quickly, and here they come in a hurry. But the ball is Allen. He drives all the way, lays it off the board. It's no good. And a blocking foul is going to be called. There was Renna Garby trying to take that charge, but he was moving. Let's take a look. And it looked like he was fixed. His feet were down, but I guess uh, I guess he was still moving. Just what is the rule there, Dick? You have to be stationary. You can't uh, dip that shoulder either, though. Is that correct? That's right. If they're both moving, the uh, offensive man has to get his shoulder ahead and in front of the defense. Free throw is missed by Allen. He'll have one more. He has scored four points in the game. His team, Luther South, leads at 32 to 25. Made the second, 33-25 now. 5.48 to go, third period. First semifinal game. The second one sends Back to Peoria Bergen against Madison. Back to eight points again. They lob underneath Mulder, off his hands and out of bounds. But they say there was hit last by Luther South, so it'll be inbounded by Okaville. Long jumper, Blumhorst, and he got it. 33-27 now. Luther South leads it. 5.30 to go for the third period. Blumhorst supplies that outside shot. He's a 51% shooter, and you know, his nine points a game, I imagine a lot of it's outside. Good move down the lane. Going up and landing up. Just missed it. Good move by Conley, though. See that sea of white shirts in the inside there. Came over the board. Blumhorst out front, Renner Garby. Bob it for Obermeyer, lays it up there, and he got it in. The basket will count, I believe, and he was fouled. Basket is good. Very nice move inside. We got the ball, and it went up and hung there long enough to draw the contact. Foul is on Tony Martin. That's his second. Obermeyer has now scored eight. The score of the game is now 33-29. Obermeyer, who is just six feet tall, really has been going to the uh, to those big guys, taking the right to them. There's that three-pointer. They're back to within three again. Obermeyer's a good athlete. He hung there and adjusted in the air before he put in that three-pointer. Rich Heron from Benton was talking about these being some good, good old farm boys down there, and I can tell you there are a few of them have done a day's work out in the field. There's traveling called on Gray, pretty obvious. Tried to make a move to the lane and was called for the travel. And a timeout has been called now by Luther South. 4.44 to go in the third quarter. One of your network sponsors is Country Companies Insurance. Country companies don't just offer an insurance discount on new homes. We offer more, like special low rates as your house gets older. In fact, your home may qualify for country companies' low rates if it's 5, 10, 20 years, even older. So if you're high on your home, see how low we can be on your homeowners. Country companies, insurance for home, auto, life, health, business, and farm. Happening now and only in Peoria. It's the incredible 1980 Home and Auto Hi-Fi Show. Take advantage of factory-authorized deals from over 40 reps. Thousands of square feet of tomorrow's audio and television for you to check out. But it all ends Sunday. The Peoria Hi-Fi Show at the Playback Store at 4234 Brandywine Drive in Peoria. Over $1 million in inventory at factory-authorized deals. But it ends Sunday at 6. Be there. Playback! Second game this afternoon sends the Peoria Bergen Trojans with a record of 22 and 8 against Madison. <coughs> Madison Ball Club has won 27 and lost four. That figures to be, as has been described already, as a very fast-paced game. 33-30, Luther South leads with 4:36 to go. There's Stein wide open for a baseline jumper, and the lead now is just one. Stein's first points. Walks it down. And they threw the ball away. Conley intends it over there for Pierre Cooper. There's
there's that pressure up the forward, the uh, lead pass that uh, caused the turnover. I think that Luther's just a, a hair, a hair excited, a little bit uh, out of out of kilter. Lena Garvey to Stein. They can take the lead here with a basket. Obermeyer cross court, almost threw it away. Now Moeller baseline drive has to clear it instead. Lena Garvey. Moeller down the lane, off the board, and in. Bill has taken the lead by one. Beautiful patience. Beautiful patience. They moved the basketball and they sit through there. First lead of the game for him. 34-33. Lob for Allen in traffic. Shot blocked by Stein. Plumhurst with it to Renegarby. Stein to Obermeyer. Court. Renegarby out front. Now Stein. Obermeyer trying to creep in along that baseline. They found him open down there a couple of times. Has him the corner now. Lobs for Moeller. Goes for the layup. It is good. He is fouled and the basket is going to count, I believe. Let's see. The basket does count. It is now 36-33. Bell by three. There it is inside again. Takes that ball up. He's able to hang there. The shot, the bump. You couldn't see it too well. It wasn't up. A, it was around the body. I think got in there with his Three-point play for Moeller. He has now scored 11. It was his second foul on Pierre Cooper. The score is now 37-33. Hookerville. Here's Gray. They work it along the baseline, knocked out of bounds. It belongs to Luther South. This ball club is 25 and 5. Comes out to Bob Gray. And now to Allen. 2.45 to go for the third period. Oakville leads it 37 33. In the corner, that is Cooper. Gets it back. Jump shot is up and good, and that is Dave Allen. Cuts it to two, 37-35. Luther South now will come back of its own. Seven points in the game for Allen. Here is Bloomhorst, cross courts to Grenegarby. Stein, lobs to Moeller. Intended that ball for Obermeyer along the baseline, kicked out of bounds. It'll be Oka Ball. Oakville's ball right under the basket. They give it to Renegarby, and he just lost it out of bounds. He was looking one way, took his eye off of it, and a costly turnover, perhaps, against Oakville. Jim, our sponsors are happy to be able to bring you these tournament games on television. If you have any comments about our coverage or suggestions, we'd like to hear from you. Write High School Basketball, Box 1112, Bloomington, Illinois, 61701. Renegarby picks up the foul. That's his second on Mike Conley. Played him tough over there, one on one. And uh, it'll be Luther South ball inbound along the sideline. Get it into Cooper. Bob for Martin. Drives the lane. Lays it up off the board. No good. Rebound. Grabbed out of there by Obermeyer. Boy, six feet tall. He's just a ton under there. Garby, good ball handler, gets it to Blumhurst. Obermeyer way out front. Renner Garby going to pump the long jumper, and he got it. Not really a jumper, is it? It's almost a set shot. Right. It's uh, he's a, about a 60% shooter from the field and 86 from the line. And the sophomore is going to be a great one before he's through. The sophomore has scored 10. The lead is four for Oakville. 39-35. the ball to Allen. He fakes. His shot is up. Deflected away from him. Picked up, though, and pushed in by Bob Gray. 39-37. Gray did some good outside shooting in uh, yesterday's ball game. He has now scored eight in this one. 102 to go for the third period. Oakville leads it by two. Rena Garvey tried to get that pass. It was a deflected, almost stolen, and now it is stolen. Deep pass. Look out for this Allen. Going for the... Oh, he faked that stuff, didn't he? Just kind of laid it in there. 39-39 yeah. tied. Allen has scored nine. 
the other guard, uh, Mike Conley's the one that likes to stuff it. Uh, I'm sure that uh, probably Dave Allen can, but he didn't choose to then. Now Okerville holding for one shot here. 29 seconds to go. Dave Luckefell telling them to come forward, break the plane, then bring it back. That's what they're doing. 17 seconds to go. Now 13 to go here in the third period. Score tied at 39. Now seven seconds. Obermeyer whips it to Renegar before the set shot, and he got it again. 41 to 39, and again he scores with uh, two or three seconds to go in the quarter. It is Okabel 41, Luther South 39. One of your network sponsors is the Kalb Ag Research. Over 50,000 producers make their hogs odds-on favorites to win the marketing race. They sell on Heinold Hog Market Strong Daily Market for all types and weights of hogs. When prices drop, they protect their profits through Heinold's guaranteed hog price program. Run the marketing race with Heinold and take home a bigger purse. 23 Heinold Hog Markets serve Illinois producers. Sometimes the world of the do-it-yourselfer is lonely. But the experts at Carver Lumber want you to know you're not alone. We're highly trained, and we stay on top of new home improvement ideas. So if you ever have questions, ask us at Carver Lumber. It's almost as if you have a complete staff helping you do it yourself. And Carver Lumber has lumber, cabinets, wallpaper, and all the home improvement supplies you'll need. Carver Lumber. Building materials. Solid advice. We're looking at the Luther South cheerleaders as we start play here in the fourth period. In the second half, Oakville has had three turnovers, Luther South two. Tony Martin was a leading scorer with 12 points for his ball club, Luther South. Greg Renegarby leads Oakville with 12, and Muller has 11. In this half, Oakville has made six of eight. In the third period, they were six of eight from the field. Luther South, five of nine. The tip was controlled by Oakville. Deep pass, they threw it away. Intended it for Blumhurst. That's a, a rare error for Oakville in this ball game. Oakville leads at 41-39. We've just started play here in the fourth period. Here is Cooper. Looking for Martin. Gives to him. Baseline jumper, Martin off the side of the backboard. But picked up by Conley. Back to Martin. Now to Allen. Guarded by Renegarby. Down the lane, Cooper. Shot is up and off the board. No good. Rebound is up and good. And the foul is called underneath. Foul is going to be on Gary Moeller. It's going to tie the ball game if that one counts, and I think it does. 41 to 41. The shot on the lunge. Went back, back up after it. Took it up and got a little bump down there around the hips, I guess. Here, Cooper has a chance to complete the three-point play and put Luther South back in front of him. He makes this, and he does. 42-41, seesaw game. Country Companies Insurance and the nearly 1,000 Country Companies agents in Illinois are happy to be co-sponsoring these basketball telecasts. We really hope you're enjoying our presentation. Now in the lane, Obermeyer all the way for the layup. Missed it. Tried to get the rebound back. Hit last by Luther South out of bounds. It belongs to Oakville. Kevin Obermeyer is six feet tall, and he takes it into the land of the Giants without hesitation. Rena Garby from the corner puts Oakville back in front, 43-42. I don't know if he's missed yet, Jim. He may be seven for seven. Now scored. let's take a look offensively down here. They're in a double stack. I think they're trying to get the mismatch. Shot up and in by Allen. He had a lot of pressure under there, but he hesitated. Took it up strong and put Luther South back in front by one, 44-43. 11 points for Allen. Rena Garby. Side to Moeller. Now Blumhurst. He's going to pump the jumper. And he got it. Oh, the recruit sensationally. He shot 75% from the field in the third period. Nine points for him. It's 45-44. Oakville by one now. There's a stack over there. 
Cooper, Cooper and Martin on the same side. And they lose the ball. They tried to get it to Conley underneath. It was grabbed out of there by Gary Moore. Oakville with a one-point lead in the ball with 6-11 to go in the game. He passed for Stein. He drives. He pumps a 15-footer, and he got it. They just have not missed. It is 47 to 44. I think Oakville's got that feeling that they've got it going. They're going up with confidence on every shot. They played a remarkable three quarters in a row, and uh, they're astonishingly confident on their shooting. There is Pierre Cooper. He takes a look on the side. Good drive, Martin stuffs it. Oh, good baseline drive. Two head again, folks. 47-46. Oakville by one. 14 points in the game for Martin. Post Obermeyer. Now Blumhorst. Side to Stein. Long jumper again. He rimmed that one. That's the first one they've missed in a while. Deep pass now. Watch out for this one. The ball is stolen away, but he's out of bounds with it by Blumhorst. Stolen it away. Prevented perhaps the layup, but went out of bounds with it. 5-17 to go for the game. 47-46. Oakville leads Lucas out by one. Oakville is 10 out of 14 from the field in this half. 10 of 14. Out front for the ball is Allen. Gets it to Cooper. Now Martin. Lob for Cooper. Knocked away, but he gets it back. And now blocked by Obermeyer, but he fouled him. Kevin Obermeyer, as we told you, is six feet tall. He's in there against three people who are 6'7, 6'7, and 6'6. Yeah, he made contact, no question about that one. That's nice pattern action in there. They were able to, to get that ball moved inside deep. They're, they're starting to function a little bit over there offensively, too. Ray Nutter has come on for Luther South. Two shots coming up here for Pierre Cooper. He missed the first, one too strong. He has scored 11 points in the game. He's a 68% shooter from the foul line on the year. 5-0-1 to go for the game. This one's up, and this one's good, and it's 47-47 tie. New ball game, coach. Yes, it is. It's going to go that way right down the wire, I believe. Oakville wants a timeout with 4.54 to go. The score tied at 47. One of your network sponsors is Country Companies Insurance. Dave Bender just bought another $25,000 of life insurance. Not unusual, except six weeks ago, Dave had a heart attack. He also had a guaranteed insurability option he'd arranged through his country company's agent. So he could buy more insurance at low rates, regardless of physical condition. Guaranteed insurability, the option that gives you options. Country companies, insurance for life, health, home, auto, farm, and business. Hi, I'm Mike Dean, manager of the Peorio office of Shearson Low Broads, America's fastest growing investment firm. At Shearson Low Broads, we offer many investment products and services designed to meet your personal financial needs. And now to better serve our Peoria clients, we're moving to a new location at 123 Adams. So please stop by. I'd be happy to show you the office and acquaint you with some of the many services we have to offer. Shearson Low Broads, 123 Southwest Adams, Peoria. Well, Dick Campbell, Tim Bramlett of Springfield, has done a good job on the stats for us, has pointed out something that's probably pretty important, because this may be a cat-and-mouse game down the way. Yes, right. Uh, Oakville's got three timeouts left, and Luther South has four. This timeout's quite interesting. I heard Coach Luckenfeld say, let's move the ball. I think they want that lead right here. It's very vital. They want to get the good shot. Obermeyer in heavy traffic. Throws it off to Renegarby. Renegarby out front. 4.44 to go now for the ball game. The first semifinal game is tied at 47. Here, watch out for this one. Here it comes. There's Conley going, and he dumps it. He's got the disgusted That's look on his face. I don't think he thought that was strong enough. <laughs> He's twinkle quick. He's anticipated that, and boy, can he jump. 49-47 now. That is four points in the game for Conley. Did that a couple of times yesterday. Front runner Darby. Now Stein. They cross court to Blumhurst. Runner Darby to Stein. Runner Darby and Conley. 
have been going at each other pretty good. Bruno Garvey's a feisty little guy. Down the lane, his shot is up, and it's good. Oh, he got another one. He just has not missed. He has scored 16 points, and the score is tied at 49. I know it's out of that zone, Jim, that Tony Martin is playing uh, Gary Moeller man-to-man -man out of that zone. There's the ball sliding through the hands of Ray Nutter, but saved nicely by Pierre Cooper along the sideline. Nutter with the ball. Off it comes down to Martin. Lobs for Cooper. Now Allen fakes, pumps it up, and he got it. And Luther South is back in front by two, 51-49. Very nice shot, a very big shot. Got under control, uh, pump fakes, got his defensive man frozen, went right up over him and stuck it. Wilmer's cross courts the ball now to Stein, to Renegarby, 3-10 to go. Moeller gives to Obermeyer, lays it off the board and in along the baseline. Well done. Good feed from Moeller. Scored tight at 51, and Moeller has scored 11. Or I beg your pardon, uh, Obermeyer has scored 11. The ball now is Conley. Nutter. Long jumper by Martin, and scored! The big guy came outside to hit the long jump shot to put Luther South back in front. 53-51, you couldn't ask for a better game than this one. 2.41 to go. Renegarby to Stein. Renegarby. Tony Martin following uh, Gary around there, Gary Moeller. They're matching up on Baseline the Baseline drive Stein. His shot is blocked, though, but grabbed by Moeller. Puts it back up. He missed it. Renegarby underneath. Lays it up. Missed it. Rebound. Moeller blocked. Off the Conley. A foul is called. Moeller will go to the line, I believe. The foul is on Pierre Cooper. Cooper picks it up. Gary Moeller will go to the line. A lot of fast and furious action. That's the only shot that I think the little guy, Renegarby, has missed under there. And he was really in tall timber. He got it off, too, though, didn't he, Jim? Sure enough, did. Almost went in. Nope, no free throws involved yet. It's the fourth team foul on Luther South. Renegarby down the lane. 2.09 to go. Jump shot from the corner is good. That is Blumhurst. The score is tied at 53 with two minutes to go. 11 points for Blumhurst. Conley down the lane. Gets the ball to Allen. He goes. He pushes it a bit short. He gets it back. He takes it up strong, and he makes that one. Great play, Dave Allen. Great effort. Took it right to the basket. Missed. Got the rebound. Lunged it back up there. He has scored 15, and Luther South leads by two. 55-53. 1.38 to go. Cross court pass underneath. They lob out to uh, Stein. Now Renegarby. 1.31 to go. Okaville's passing has been fantastic. They thread it through. They go over the top. They cross court it. It is inside again. Obermeyer missed it, but he got it back. It goes to the floor. He still got it, and he is fouled. The foul is on Ray Nutter, his first. Here we go again. Now a timeout has been called here by... Oakville, they trail in the game 55 to 53. One of your network sponsors is DeKalb Ag Research. Acres of gold to keep in America going. Acres of gold to keep in the trade winds blowing. Acres of gold keeps the economy growing. Stuck in a kitchen you can't live with? Sunnyland Cabinet knows what a kitchen should be. Your kitchen should fit your family's lifestyle. Your kitchen should be designed especially for you, with features that make life a little easier. You don't have to live with an outdated kitchen. Let Sunnyland Cabinet show you a kitchen you can live with and love working in. Remodel your kitchen now and save 30 to 40 percent. Free design service and financing is available at Sunnyland Cabinet. 
The situation is this. A minute, 17 seconds to go in the game. Luther South 55, Oakville 53. In the second half, Oakville has made 13 of 21, 62%. But listen to this, Luther South 12 of 19, 63%. Well, that's some shooting well, in any league. You talk about an important possession here. They've gotten one when they've needed it every time down. Let's see what happens here. Blumhurst inbounds the ball to Renegarby. Conley is after it. Renegarby, 108 to go with the ball. Off to Stein, now Renegarby looking underneath. 102 to go. Renegarby top of the key. Conley on him. Blumhurst. To Renegarby beats his man, pumps oh. it up, missed it. Rebound grabbed out of there by Tony Martin. The little guy made a good move, had a good shot, and didn't get it. Luther South, a two point lead and the ball. Off to Cooper. They two time him and they foul him. Foul is on Kevin Obermeyer. Pierre Cooper going to the line with the one and one. He is a 68% foul shooter on the year. Luther South has not done well in the game from the line. They are three of eight. One for Pierre Cooper. 35 seconds remain to be played. He made it. It hit the front of the rim, but it fell in as you saw. He is three of four from the line. Get that one more. Oh, he missed that one. Rebound, Stein brings it out of there. Two on one. Obermeyer gives the ball to Renegarby. Lays it up and off the board and good. Reverse layup. 56-55, player hurt, that is Allen. Dave Allen is down. 25 seconds to go. Luther South leads by one, 56 to 55. Allen is okay, I believe. He's shaken up for just a moment. Says he's all right. Wants to stay in the ball game. Watch this move with the reverse layup by Renegarby. Just an excellent move in a, in a most important time. 18 points he has scored in the game. Bocabella has taken a timeout. 56-55, Luther South on top. One of your network sponsors is Country Companies Insurance. You got the bucket? Ugh. Get the insurance man. Wayne Carey? No, 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 he's life. Uh, John Dolby? Auto. When you have all your insurance with Country Companies, you get one agent to call, one agent, to help make sure you have the right coverage and to speed your claims. Wally Stupsker. Wally Stupsker. Country Companies, insurance for home, auto, life, health, farm, and business. Uh, hello, Wally, Wally Stupsker, the, the insurance man. The window washer. How about giving your home the warm, friendly look of real brick? It's easy and inexpensive with briquettes. Briquettes are real kiln-fired brick, but only one half inch thick. Briquettes are lightweight, so they require no extra support, and they're fireproof. But best of all, you can do it yourself with briquettes. Fireplaces, kitchens, accent walls, anywhere. Real kiln-fired briquettes are available at Paul Geisman Fireplace and Lighting in Peoria. 56-55 game, Luther South leads it. There's Dave Luchtefeld telling his ball club what to do on defense. Dick Campbell, what do you well, think they'll do? It's 25 seconds, the length of the court to go. They're gonna press them, they're gonna, they're gonna gamble. We're gonna get a, a possibility of a long pass here. Inbounds. That's Allen, there deep pass for Conley. Top. Across the timeline, 19 seconds, and the they foul. foul Mike Conley with 18 seconds to go. Still plenty of time. He is appealing for the two shots, and so is his coach, Cliff Dahl, but the referee says, no, it's the one and one. He is 67% from the foul line for the year. They wanted the intentional two-shot foul, but didn't get it. It'll be Conley at the line. He has scored four points. He made the first. 57-55, Luther South by two with 18 seconds to go. 
one is missed. Stein had the rebound, lost it out of bounds. Stein had it in his hands and lost it out of bounds. It belongs to Luther South. And Oakville wants a timeout. This will be the team's last. Well, Dick Campbell, another heart stopper, wouldn't you say? Uh, is it ever? It's basketball at its best. I don't know whether Oakville could play better or not. They're just playing super. We hope you're enjoying our telecast. Calbag Research and the more than 750 DeKalb dealers in Illinois are glad to be one of the network co-sponsors. I almost said good morning, but I guess we are in afternoon now. This is the first time uh, in a long time that we've had a ball game in the morning in the state tournament. Of course, back in the old days with the Sweet 16 and all those, they used to play all day long. Back in Huff Gym, we had some uh, memorable uh, ball games there that started a couple in the morning, three in the afternoon, and three in the evening. Well, our sponsors obviously are very happy to be able to bring you these tournament games on television. And if you have any comments about our coverage, suggestions, or anything like that, we'd like to hear from you. Just write High School Basketball, Box 1112, Bloomington, Illinois, 61701. That's High School Basketball, Box 1112, Bloomington, Illinois, 61701. You're looking at the Oakville Rockets. The man in the middle is Dave Luchtefeld with some instructions for his club. They are down by one, 57 to 55. They almost had the rebound in possession of that ball, but it was lost out of bounds and thus belongs to Luther South to inbound near the basket of which they're shooting. Way out front, it comes to Martin. Knocked away from Martin and he is fouled by Moeller. Gary Moeller picks it up. Well, I guess he shook that ball loose, but it looked like a clean swipe and a layup at the other end, but the, the foul was what shook the ball loose. Good call by the official. It's a one and one coming up for Tony Martin. He's the poorest, poorest free throw shooter on this team at 58%. And but he made that one. Made that one. That, that might have been the, that odd point might have been enough. It's 58-55, Luther South trying to get into the finals of this tournament. Leading by three, this shot is up, and it's good. 59-55 now. Long jump shot is up. Rim, no good. Rebound, Stein up and in. 59-57, six seconds to go. Four seconds to go. No more timeouts left for Oakville. This game is going to be over, and Luther South has won it. But boy, it was a heart stopper. 59-57 is the final score. It was really something to see, and we'll continue with our coverage of the Illinois High School Class A Boys Basketball Tournament in just a minute. 